with the Philip Mons FPE. Um, today I wanted to show you guys a comparison between the uh, Rotorx 1105B 6500 KV and the 1102 8500 KV, um, both from Rotorx. Uh, the 6500 KV motors, 1105s, I'm running on the Micro Mahler Hex. Um, I posted a video a couple days ago of this one, of a couple of punch outs. Um, but I'll go ahead and go into depth uh, in another video on the actual like build of it and everything. Um, okay, so first of all, just from looking at them, I'll show you guys the height. There, the 1102s are, I want to say, maybe like 4mm, 5mm shorter than the 1105. They're a lot smaller. Uh, the width is roughly about the same, maybe a tiny bit fatter. Um, these are meant to run on 1102, um, I mean, uh, sorry about that, on uh, 2S. These are also meant to run on 2S, 1105s, um, but they can handle uh, 3S on a light build. Um, on a quad, you'd have to be running something like this with like uh, a Maze uh, Mini or an Afro Mini or the Flip 32 Racing. Um, which that's what this frame is meant for. This is the um, the uh, KX1. Uh, that's a 118 millimeter frame. This one's 146 diagonal, motor to motor. Um, the punch out on these things is insane. These are um, you guys check the video. I'll link it in the bottom. But um, on 3S, it pulls over 250 grams per motor, and these are the Rotor X uh, 2535 quad props. You can use them as just like regular props, but they're gonna snap just because they don't have that, uh, they crisscross. So if they're not together, they're gonna wind up, uh, you're gonna have issues with them. I've been flying these for a while. This has not been set up yet. I'm still just waiting on the ESCs. Um, these motors, by far, I've flown DYS just because I never had the opportunity to fly uh, Rotor X stuff. Money problems, but. Um, these motors are quality motors, definitely. Um, I've crashed, I want to say maybe three times, not a single dent, not any single issues. Um, on 3S, I use a 700 milliamp uh, 60C Trinity LiPos. Um, they don't even come down warm, the ESCs don't even come down warm. And that's, I punch it the whole time anywhere from like 80% to 100% throttle. I'm just freaking ripping ass back and forth. Um, no problems at all. Um, I've crashed in sand. I didn't have an issue with sand getting into them. Um, they're running honestly like new and I probably pumped maybe, I want to say about 30 or 40 packs through them, like really, really bashing it, bashing the motors. Um, these are the same propellers. I still haven't changed them since day one. You can still see some like grass stains on them and little chips, but I mean, they've held up. Um, they kind of, if they do bend down, you can just bend them back up, but they take a huge beating without any problems. Um, for this setup, it's the same thing, but this is gonna be for, uh, like I said, 2S. Um, and I'm actually gonna design 3D printed, uh, essentially a cage or a, a prop guard that will just screw on to the bottom right under the motors. Um, that way this can be an indoor flyer and that's the reason why I designed this was it can be indoor or outdoor but I wanted something that was small that I could still use full FPV gear on um, and like I said race inside um, so I mean this will be the parking lot racer gym whatever um, but for the motors quality wise big difference between DYS I've had kids come in when the, the motors are burnt um, they just don't start. I've had motors that come in with literally the wires are kind of like uh, they're hanging off the coils are not even on it. Um, wires crossed. I've had honestly, you know what? The, the, the biggest pain in the ass about the DYS is the the, um, the wires. The wires are hair thin wires that you have to heat up and take that coating of enamel off to even be able to solder. These are all silicone wire. So you guys can see that. All these wires are silicone wire. Extremely easy to solder. These things are, um, this entire build probably took me about two hours. And I'd say a big part of that was just not having to do all that stupid tinning and taking off the wires and this and that. It saved a huge amount of time. Um, way cleaner build. 
the wire even looks nicer than the DYS ones. Um, honestly, if you can afford them, get a Rotor X. Um, after flying both, hands down, these uh, the 6500 KV is all I'm going to use. I might even build up a second one with this. Um, but I mean, you can match those up with anything. And then for the, the uh, micro muller, I actually do make, I started printing these today. So I have the full skirts with the ESC caps. I'm doing them in uh, purple, orange, uh, red and blue. So I'm, and then I'm doing green too. So I'm, I am planning on having a fleet of four of these. Um, each one with its colored skirt, um, more than likely green. And then the ESC caps, uh, either uh, orange, blue, red, or green. So I am gonna have my four, uh, my Ninja Turtle hexes uh, for whatever the need. I'll have each one set aside. I might spec them out different, but they're all gonna have those same motors. Um, yeah, great motors, great propellers. Um, these were actually given to me by uh, Martin and uh, David from uh, Rotor X. So a huge shout out to them. This video wouldn't be possible for them. This build wouldn't even, these two builds wouldn't even be here. Um, they hooked it up with the uh, motors. They, oh, they even tossed in uh, atom frame. So that's getting built out with 1306s. But um, great guys, really great motors, great props. Um, happy to fly them. And uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in any of this, um, I have it on my website. You guys can go ahead and uh, place the order there. I do have the ESC uh, kits and everything there also. Um, but for the most part, um, frames are up, kits are up, uh, all the recommended uh, settings, all the, yeah, all the settings. Um, I believe I upload the PIDs already. Um, so everything's there. So if you can get it, you can build, have it tuned, set it up, and take out flying without having to fiddle around with stuff. Um, but yeah, that's the first look, and this is after me, I, like I said, I've been flying them for a couple weeks now, um, of the Rotor X 1105B 6500KV and the Rotor X 1102 8500 KV motors, 2S, 3S. You can go 2S on the 1105s, but honestly, if you can go 3 and you got a light build, do it. The power is insane, it just feels like 4S straight straight to the sky. Thanks for watching. As always, see you guys next time. Good night.